Hey guys, welcome back to Coffee with A and J. Woo! Okay, so for this first episode back in this new format, we kind of want to just explain ourselves a little bit why we even started the podcast. I feel like we just jumped into it because we were so eager like a year ago to get started whenever it was. And we never really even explained like why is Coffee with A and J, why we even started. It's crazy to think it's already almost been like a year that we started it, but we had been talking, like we said in our first episode, we'd been talking a lot about starting a podcast, maybe doing YouTube. And I looked into stuff, Jamie looked into stuff and we decided, okay, a podcast is a good way to start. And we jumped into it. We didn't really have a plan. We had obviously never done anything like this before. We started pumping out episodes, but we were really bad at planning. We didn't have any kind of vision for it. We just knew that like we had a lot of funny stories with each other and we thought other people would enjoy listening to them. And I feel like we're both really impulsive and creative. So if we have an idea, we're like, okay, let's start it right now. So we were literally sitting at White Bison. I don't know, whenever it was. And we were like, oh my God, this is what we need to do. Like someone should be able to hear what we're talking about. And that's kind of how the idea started in the first place. So after we started doing our own episodes, we quickly realized that without a direction, we didn't have enough content to make it sustainable. And so as you guys might have noticed, I don't think that it was our best quality that we were releasing. And we noticed that too. So we sat down and we had a chat and we decided that both of us are interested in the music industry. We both love um, interviewing people, doing that kind of thing. And so we kind of ran with that at the moment because that's what we had time for and that's what fit best into our plan then. Yeah, we totally did a 180 flip from what we originally thought the podcast was going to be when we first started. And I feel like even that was confusing because a few months in, I don't know, even some of our friends were like, well, what happened to you guys talking? Like that's what they wanted to hear. Like that's why we started it in the first place. And we love doing our interviews and I feel like like we might do that again at some point. But for now, we just want to like bring it back to what we originally wanted and kind of like revamp our original idea. Yeah. And like I said, we both really love the music industry. I really want to work in the music industry. You're an artist. You would love to do it, too. So we have decided to keep the artist spotlights. We really like doing those interviews. They're short and sweet. We get a cool insight from a new artist. We get exposure for them. And um, it's really fun for everyone involved. So we're going to keep that. But now we're going to do alternating weeks. And so uh, we're going to do our episode. And then every other week, it's going to be the Artist Spotlight still. Yeah, and I feel like the Artist Spotlights were super cool for us, too, because it got us to kind of like work in the music industry, almost in our own way, like in our own business, like hosting our first show Mm -hmm. and things like that. And I feel like we realized like we love hosting shows and that kind of thing. So we kind of don't want to just be like, oh, it's just us talking. Like there's so many aspects to it. Um, And I think this is like a good creative space. So it's kind of like, we don't want it to be super rigid and like this crazy structure, but we're excited to just kind of like bring our own thoughts back into it too. Yeah. And with the new direction, we want to explain now what we've realized we wanted it to be since the beginning. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we touched on this in our very first episode when we were explaining. No, we definitely (laughs) didn't. (laughs) Explaining uh, about a little bit about ourselves. But basically, Jamie and I have always been close since we met, but we've gotten obviously a lot closer the past few months. And But before, we would only really see each other uh, during the week. We were daytime friends. We were daytime friends. And so uh, we wouldn't see each other on the weekends when all the shit would go down. And we would meet up at White Bison and... And we would tell each other like the funny stories that happened over the weekend, catch each other up. And I think that's what we want the podcast to be for at least our episodes is it's like however cheesy it may sound. It's like y'all are here with us and can just hear what we would just be telling each other. It's like you're with us on our weekly recaps. And I feel like this is fun for us, too, because even like we're so close now, like we don't really do that as much as we used to. But those are the funniest conversations ever, like trying to explain every single detail while you can barely (laughs) remember that week. (laughs) And also, we've talked a lot about before we did this revamp, how much we've changed in general, Yeah. not even just with the podcast. When we first started, at least me, I had really no clue what I wanted to do. Uh, now I'm graduating in December. I didn't know I was doing that at the time. Um, and, you know, you've changed so much, too. Yeah, I feel like we listened back to a few of our first episodes and it was difficult honestly to hear it I feel like we sound so different we like act differently not in any kind of a bad way but it's just like it's maturity yeah I mean going from like I don't know I just went from like 20 to 21 I feel like it's all just like big jumps and you don't realize how much you change so quickly so we're also excited to kind of like give our new perspective yeah (laughs) and when we listen to the old episodes they were a little cringy a little (laughs) like a lot cringy so now we kind of want to talk about what we've been up to 
because in the first episode we explained our friendship and a little bit of background but i feel like we didn't really say anything about ourselves yeah we kind of just explained how we met but you guys have like no idea who we are as people at all yeah so like i said i'm graduating in december from belmont and i interned with red light management in country now over the summer and i'm entering again with them in the fall uh and i like i said i love the music industry i would love to work in the music industry um yeah yeah i feel like for me it's been a confusing like past few years because i feel like i always like to have my hand in like a lot of different things so i like came to belmont as a music business major and i really wanted to like pursue music at the time i like got into a band really fast in college and then kind of realized like that wasn't for me not the music aspect just like music business I knew I wanted to do like some other stuff too so I switched to social media management and I feel like that's changed like a lot of stuff for me like over the summer I worked with a company kind of helping them manage their social media and just diving a lot deeper into that and I feel like it's fun because we can use the podcast as an outlet to like work on that kind of stuff um so yeah that's kind of what I've been up to I work at Urban Outfitters like we do a lot of different things like that the the pod- yeah Ali babies. And it's fun, too, that we both love the podcast, but we do different things with it. Yeah. I really like graphic design, even though I'm trying to teach myself Photoshop, stuff like that. And it's like a learning experience. We both like doing, you know, the promoting stuff, the marketing. You really like doing the social media stuff. And so it's been fun. Yeah, we get to play around with, like, video editing. Just, like, things that, like, you don't always get to, like, learn in school, too. Um, This has definitely been, like, a learning process for us, too. Yeah, and... Whenever we were doing the interviews, because obviously they're successful college students, and it was really interesting for us, and I think we both learned a lot from the people we interviewed, which was really cool because most of them are like our age or a little bit older, Mm -hmm. Um, but we both learned a lot, and being surrounded by such motivated people that have a huge vision for their life was really inspiring and I think that's also what got us back into doing this I know I feel like kind of pushed us because when we were interviewing them it was like well why are we doing this like we thought it was super cool and it gave us really cool insight but now we're like we need to get back to doing like what we wanted wanted to do with this yeah exactly all right so what we kind of just chatted a lot kind of some boring stuff but we just wanted to fill you guys in so that it wasn't confusing why we're doing all of this and now we can get into some more fun stuff so yeah as we speak ali is searching something up for us okay we're gonna do a buzzfeed <laughs> quiz it's a best friend quiz it says this quiz will determine how close you and your best friend actually <laughs> yeah. are over the summer we spend an aggressive amount of time like every together. single day morning till night also we we haven't looked at this so it's <laughs> probably gonna be so dumb but here we go Oh, it's interesting. It's like uh, check everything thing that you know about your BFF. Okay, so let's go through an answer if we know them about each other. Okay, I don't know your phone number. I know. I feel like I just no. I don't know your phone number. <laughs> <laughs> their first name of their first ever crush. First. Mm. Can I just? Can is you your guess? first boyfriend's name David? That- <laughs> That's my best friend's one of her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Melissa. never mind. <laughs> uh, the name of their childhood pet biscuit. Um, <laughs> whatever. I know her current pet, Ollie. Yeah, their middle name. Yours is Alexandra. Yours is McCall. Yeah, you do want to get married. Yeah, you want to get married too. Um, astrological sign. You're Leo. Aries. We actually just had a really intense conversation about that today. Yeah, we did. Your birthday is August third. So here's the tw- March twentieth. Yeah. I mean, I don't like these kinds of things. <laughs> <laughs> what time of day you were born? I don't know that about you. I don't know. I don't talk about. I don't that. think anyone really. I don't even go. know if I know what time. I think it was like seven p.m. Maybe mine was around nine p.m. Both of their parents' first names: Gina and John. Sue and Greg. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Both. I don't know your parents' middle name. I don't know yours either. But I think the first was good enough. That was a very short answer. I know. Um, shoe size? Are you like an eight? Yeah, and you're like a six. Six and a half, seven. Dang, it was close enough. She has a small foot. Favorite food? You like sushi a lot Mm -hmm. um you like mexican food a lot yeah um your favorite food i feel like well i feel like lately all you talk about is pizza (laughs) (laughs) yeah some of those questions were just a little bit you could say boring so we're gonna just try sorry buzzfeed we're gonna try one more and see if they're like a little bit more interesting Uh, love quiz we're not a couple for couples one thing too we'd like to address we're not dating um we do spend a lot of time together and we do romantic things together yeah i feel like this summer just to catch you guys up yeah we definitely 
like one day i think we went on 10 dates in a row i feel like we should share the day of the drive-in yeah. movie together we went <laughs> i had been wanting to go to a drive-in movie so badly and obviously ali and i are both single so we decided to just go with each other because why not but leading up to the drive-in movie was like maybe like five or six solid things that we were like this is just not normal anymore yeah we went out to dinner but when we got to the place for dinner because it's kind of in the middle of nowhere it was really busy because it was a friday night and everyone went, where where did we go um i don't know just somewhere like an hour away from nashville and so there was about a 45 minute wait and so then we went in the back of my car <laughs> because we set up the i have a jeep and we set up the back so we could like lay there whenever we were watching the movie and yeah. we packed food so then we ate the food in the back together in the parking lot but the thing is about the packed food is that earlier that day we cooked the food together <laughs> 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 and the reason the reason why we ended up sitting in the back of my car and eating the food and the reason why we went to the restaurant in the first place is because i thought the movie started at six o'clock but it actually started at eight or nine and so we got Maybe there like 10 started like through we got there three hours early yeah we spent a lot of time together that day yeah but it was really um, sweet though. yeah so why not take a compatibility test to see if we were to date if we'd be compatible okay <laughs> let's do it if someone asked you how compatible you were as a couple what would you say um, and it starts from, we don't give it much thought to, we see ourselves as very connected to the, the latter. Yeah. Okay, cool. How do your political views match those of your partner? We're very on the same page. I think so too. How do you spend your spare time as a couple? So like either we don't spend any free time together or we have a nice balance. I don't think we have a good balance. I don't think we have a balance at all. Um, I think we just do about everything we together. We kind of, yeah, stick together. When it comes... To finance it, I don't want to talk about that. Okay. We both have really bad finance skills as well. Yeah. When it comes to talking about raising a family, how similar are your ideas? We would love to um, marry marry men that <laughs> would accept our friendship and we could go yeah. on family trips together. Yeah. Our, we want our kids to be friends, obviously. Come yeah. On. I mean, I think this whole test just kind of shows you guys we're very close. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But we're not dating. We're not dating. Yeah. It's like any friendship. Okay. Let's yeah. Just get over it. Yeah. All right. I feel like we don't need to go on forever. We basically just wanted to share that we're back. We're going to go kind of back to our original plan for coffee with A&J, which is so exciting. Yeah. Well, it was really good talking to you guys. We're going to have an artist spotlight up next week. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we'll see you guys in a couple weeks. Okay. Bye. <laughs>